Small enterprise is the backbone of the Asia-Pacific economy. But many small businesses are not benefiting from the region's remarkable growth. Workers with fewer skills are also missing out, especially young people in rural areas. Their work tends to be more informal. It's characterized by low productivity due to underinvestment, poor skills, and a lack of standards and collective bargaining. Achieving productive employment and sustainable enterprises involves a series of proactive measures. Improving the skills of young people and making financial systems more accessible are critical steps. This young hairdresser in Timor-Leste is a graduate of a government program that develops the entrepreneurial skills of unemployed youth. Deolinda now runs her own small business. No more equipment to see in a bay. Atu halau hau ni negosiu salon. Hau ni muris ne iha mo dansa. No mos hau ni muris ne kompletu liutang. In some countries, domestic workers are also being offered skills training, awareness raising, and strategies to organize. These skills benefit employers and workers. Isli madam log mera kam dekhe de ra honge saay aatha cha. Access to financial services is one measure that can also help people reduce their vulnerable status. This community-based bank in Sri Lanka empowers local women to start their own businesses. Many have benefited from small loans and in many cases that's generated more jobs. Developing new skills can also help close the gender gap. Hazia Slim is Lebanon's first female electrician. While she may still face challenges of discrimination and achieving pay equity, Hazia's new skills are earning her family much needed cash. The development of national policies to promote sustainable enterprises and help workers move from the informal economy into more secure jobs would help. The ILO has various guidelines and tools to assist this. The creation of green jobs quality jobs that protect the environment is a potential growth area. In China, this manufacturer of clean cooking stoves is prospering. Many more people in Asia and the Pacific could benefit from the region's growth. But achieving decent work and sustainable enterprises will ultimately depend on political leadership, improved skills and negotiated solutions.